Hey guys, this is Mariella with Concentris, and I'm going to walk you guys through uploading via CSV item pricing for customers. And here you see the example of the customer record. And you'll note that under the financial tab, there's a sub tab called item pricing. And here is where we're going to upload our items with customer specific pricing. For this example, we're going to take this item. Uh, AAA annual uh, support and upload this via CSV. So we need a template here uh, with these headers. And you'll note that we have the internal ID of the customer, the item name, the unit price that we're paying or that we're setting for this customer to pay. Uh, we also have a multi currency instance for this demo account. So we'll set that up as well. That would be mandatory and then a price level for this customer. So once this is saved as a CSV file, we would go into NetSuite and go to setup, import export, and then go to import CSV reference. For this upload, we will select relationships and then customers only and then we will select our file. So item pricing upload here and click next. We are updating data. So we're not creating a new customer. We are updating their um, data assignment. So we'll go ahead and click update and click next. And here you'll see that NetSuite auto maps based on our headers. Um, but for this instance, it's it's mapping currency and price level to the customer record instead of the item pricing. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these here. And on the right side with the NetSuite field, I'm going to scroll all the way down and get to item pricing. And then I'm going to pull in all four of these fields and map it to the uh, headers on our left that are pulled in from our template. Once those are all mapped, we'll go ahead and click next. And we're going to name this item pricing import. And go ahead and click save and run. Go ahead and click um, import job status. If you wanted to see if it was a larger import, you would click here and see the progress of it. Um, you could also just go back to your customer record and go back to the financial tab, click item pricing, and you'll see it now is populating AAA annual support for $10 with the currency of USA. So this is a successful upload. And if you had multiple items, you would just list them out here with the customer internal ID and then the multiple different item names, unit price, currency, and price level. Thanks, guys.